All right, YouTube, Jeff Lindsay in the garage, Saturday, November the 18th, coming up on Thanksgiving. We got the car front end, took back apart, stored away. Uh, we got to the lower valence panel that we need to do a little repair on, specifically in this area, and uh, get the rest of this filler off and see what we're working with here. Hopefully, it's not going to be all that bad. There's a couple of more little pin holes here and there we're going to try to just weld up. Uh, may end up having to use a little bit of filler rod to do that. I don't want to take a, a chance on burning through this thing any more than I absolutely have to. And that's in this area right here, which will be seen. A little small hole or two here. And up on this other end. So we'll probably use a little filler rod there. and We'll try to bring you along and show you some of that. Uh, Next thing we probably gonna end up having to do is cut the roof skin off and go that Go that route because that'll be the last panel uh, There is some more fitment issues here and there with the trunk lid. Uh, we did get it fit in there pretty good We have not fit this panel and uh, Mounted it yet But we're thinking it's gonna be okay where it's at. It, it's kind of laid in nice and neat There'll be a little bit of shimming to do on the trunk lid. Uh, more work to do on the spoiler before we mount it. And when we get the roof skin cut off, we're gonna have work to do on this, on this back lip from the inside panel. Uh, all this has been, what it looks like is scabbed on with uh, old galvanized like like way back around the other side of that windshield when we took all that mess off and rebuilt it and this side. So we definitely gonna have issues there, but we're gonna try to let the roof skin dictate. In other words, we'll build this out. And then when we place our roof skin on the parts that we know are good, we're gonna try to just cut back to the roof skin line and let it dictate where that inner panel ends up so that it'll be just as smooth we can just belt sand it off and probably do the same thing on this front part uh, the majority of the damage is on the other side over there and like i say i don't know i'm sure when the car was hit that that most of that damage uh, occurred from that point so uh same thing with this uh left side of this cowling here uh, the pillar looks good. I don't see any issues with it. Uh, we do have issues in, with buckling and, and mess up here. You can see where they pulled the den out. Uh, and it, it actually threw a little crease in this area. And they filled it up with filler. So once we get all this cut off, we'll be in good shape when we get the other piece on. Hopefully. Hi, right, YouTube. I'm going to quit talking so much and get back to work. We'll bring you on right, YouTube. The plan is to take this piece that we that we bent. It's pretty close. And we're just going to come in here and mark this, cut this out. I did not want to go all the way out to here with a big piece. So I'm going to do one little piece here first. And then I'm going to come up in here and probably back this and spot it up. Hopefully, that's the plan. But that piece is laying in there nice and neat. We're just going to scribe it, cut it all out, and see how good a job we can do <laughs> welding, it, welding it in. It's kind of thin. But uh, we just put a double brake in that on a little homemade press in here. Wasn't too hard to do. Just threw it in there and broke it like we needed it. Put us a little S in there, Z, S, whatever. We'll line that up, cut it out, bring it back. All right, guys, just kind of bringing you along. Uh, we've got the corners spotted, ground back down, kind of in here and here. Uh, this hole that was up in here, we just backed it with a little small piece back here. And then we'll go back on the inside and grind down everything that we don't need. It was just a real small, about a half inch by half inch. 
Uh, my patch is a little bit tight right in here, but I'm not, I'm not gonna cut it. I'm not gonna open it up any. And the reason why is this is so thin that I, I shouldn't have any problem with the penetration on it. Uh, I've checked where I spotted and I'm coming through okay. So I'm really not worried too much about that. There was a little bit of shape to this, uh, this way. And I, I really didn't think much about that. And it's got a little bit of shape this way. As small as this was, uh, kind of back to front you might say, I really didn't worry too much about it. But to get just this little bit of a shape here, I just took it over this right here. Just anything you can use, you need or whatever, just, just to make a little bit of shape out of it. It didn't take much. I mean, if you wasn't careful, it'd be too much. But uh, just wanted to bring you along and show you. Uh, we did make this piece long, just barely a little bit long. And then we just put a straight edge on it and came in there with a little belt sander and cleaned it down. And I believe it's gonna make a real, real good patch right in there. So, a couple of little small places right there. We'll have to probably just put that little copper back in plate. And that's kind of what we use right there when we need to. That'll help you out on some thin stuff. I'll just put it right in there like that, spot them up, shouldn't have a problem. Uh, right in that corner there might be a little bit of an issue. With your smaller welders, it's not too bad. This welder, this middle, uh, Middlematic 210, if I go down to the first setting on this welder, it, re it really gives me trouble. It's really nasty uh, as far as the weld. I, I end up around two to three, and uh, of course it'll get extremely hot. It'll weld up a half inch stuff pretty easy. You can bevel it just a little bit, but I probably have more trouble welding this thin stuff than the average person with a little bit smaller welder, like maybe a 175 or even a 90. Uh, amp so uh, it, it really doesn't make for for fun welding at all but it's it gets the job done I've used it on the whole car but I probably probably would have been a lot better off a lot less headache if I'd have just bought a little small Hobart uh, something a little smaller than this anyway but uh, it's old but it still does the job especially on thick stuff and uh it's just a little aggravating on the thinner stuff. But anyway, YouTube, we're gonna run some spots along here and here. Come back and grind it all out, flip it over, grind off for a little, we little put a little patch back there. We'll clean it up and we'll move on to the next little area. But I think that's gonna turn out real good. It looks fine. And the fact that it's gonna be up underneath the car helps a lot too. All right, YouTube. All right, YouTube, we hit it for a couple of hours pretty hard. And we got this patch complete, cleaned up, ground down, the back side of it, we cleaned up a little bit. We're going to leave what little bits there. We're going to probably spray some kind of little undercoating or something on this, make it look a little better in here. Because I guess uh, some of that could be seen. So we'll finish this inside too. Uh, that's where we put the little drop in patch and we just rounded all that over good but it'll be fine. Uh, that bracket's gonna be kind of right over that area right there, so I'm not really worried about that. But anyway, we made a, made a good attempt that, uh, at patching that area. Looks a whole lot better. Looks a lot like what's on this side. Uh, we will come in here and measure from center over and drill that hole. We might wait till we get the little spoiler piece that goes on there and just let it show us where the hole is so uh but that's the only thing is that hole right in there somewhere so all right you two we're gonna call it a day and when we get back out here tomorrow the next day or whenever we're gonna clean up on this side here and see what we find on up under that and when we have some progress we'll add to it and bring you along all right youtube jeff Lindsay in the garage the 19th of november uh we kind of came along and did some repairs around these edges uh some little little pinhole stuff 
This side, the driver's side, this nose piece right here was in pretty bad shape. We actually put a couple of small pieces in there, welded it up, ground it down. You've seen it. Uh, I feel like we're going to be real good with this piece. We, uh, we cleaned out the rest of the filler, put some short strand on it, knocked it down with some 40 grit just to get those high spots before they dry good. Um, no ripples, no big, no big bad, ugly denting. So I feel like this panel is going to be fine. Our patched area is, is good. Um, just did an initial knockdown, like I say, to get those high points. Once that stuff gets good and dry, it's pretty tough. So, uh, we aiming to shoot it today. We might, might not. Uh, it's not a big deal. We got enough uh, for a little video to show the repairs. That was the main thing. Uh, getting this piece in epoxy is just, just more of the same stuff we've done. So uh, no big deal. Um, the next video, we have made up our mind. Uh, we got up enough nerve. We're going to go ahead and cut off the roof skin. That'll be interesting. Uh, definitely some repairs to do on the underside. So uh, that'll give us an opening. And we'll, we'll get in there and make those repairs probably from the top side. It'll be a lot easier than trying to work here. Had I thought about it and, and given it any thought, when this car was on the rotisserie, that would have been the time to do that. But uh, hindsight being 2020 and all, we're going to do it from the top once we get the roof skin cut off. AMD got an email. Uh, they're running a freight special from now to the end of December. I've got to have a roof skin. That's 329. I've got to have a hood. That's around 400. Um, if you buy a thousand dollars worth of stuff, they'll ship it to you uh, via truck line at no charge, and that's a pretty good deal considering how expensive it is to ship stuff. Uh, we've got to have the park light kits. They've got them, and I'm sure there's some other stuff. The passenger side wheel well is the one that's rusted out uh, where the battery sits in that area. It's in pretty bad shape. I might just go ahead and I'll need a little bit extra to make that $1,000 mark. So, uh, but we'll shop around, we'll get to the $1,000 mark, go ahead and order that stuff, get it coming. And the next video will be me cutting off the roof skin and starting to make some repairs. We've got a, I'm pretty sure what's inside there is at least 16 gauge. I, I'm not 100% sure. I've got a sheet of 16 and I've got some 18. So we should be good making those repairs uh, to the inside across that back windshield area. So uh, we're probably going to leave it at this. If we get time, we'll shoot it. We'll show it later. Of course, it's no big deal. We've seen panels in epoxy. Uh, main thing, like I say, was to, to show the repairs. So uh, we'll get out of here for today. Uh, take it easy the rest of the afternoon. Get ready for another short, short week. Got two days. And then I'm out of there till the following Monday. So that'll give us a lot of time to get started on the roof skin. I want to thank everybody for watching, of course. I want to wish everybody a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much. I know I probably will, but that'll be okay. We, we try not to do it too often. Thank everybody for watching, subscribing, liking, especially leaving comments uh, from the Rusty Metal Garage. We'll do it again.